Hello YouTubers, I just want to do a quick V vlog on a very interesting character from Bradford. His name is James Berry. Now James Berry led quite a interesting life and I like to just cover that. Uh, basically he was a policeman. From a policeman he became an executioner. And, and he admits he, he wanted to become an executioner because the money was good. And the job itself took a lot of toll on him. I think it was an execution for about eight years. And uh, he resigned. And from there, he became a preacher. He converted to Christianity. He found Jesus. Now, he actually converted uh, in a church. Well, it's actually a missionary just up the road from here on Boland Street, which I'll take you along there later on. We'll have a look at the property. Um, and from there on to his deathbed, basically, he just like... Uh, campaigned against the death penalty which i found quite interesting so what we'll do is we'll trace his steps there there's a um, quite a bit of information on the actual internet about him but we'll do some videos and show you some visuals because there's not much visuals about uh, and there's some quite rare photographs uh, and i like to go to his graveyard as well where uh, his final resting place so we'll take it from there um see you in the next step so here we are folks, at the age of 61, James Berry died on 21st of October 1913. So we're approaching at the house where he actually passed away and he died at Walnut Tree Farm, 36 on Bolton Road. Cottages here. I think his house is just up the road. Volnut Tree Farm. There you have it. Yeah, James Berry used to live at 56 Thorpe Street, the Horton area. And then he moved to one built-in place. So this is built-in place, but I think number one is actually converted to a surgery now. But look at the cobble road, the old Victorian style. This is his business card. As you can see on his business card, he does mention one built-in place. I've just pulled outside Boland Street Mission, and this is where James Berry converted to uh, Christianity round about 1894. Uh, this was due to the fact that he had a lot of trouble with his uh, execution uh, years, should I say. He had a few mishaps, and it was he didn't have a good relationship with the home office as well so he turned to christianity i'm, I'm just going to show you this um, premises um it's still ongoing amazingly a uh, very old building also he did 131 hangings and out of there he was saying to the home office that five to six people were innocent and that sort of led him into trouble as well and also, out of 131 hangings, there was about five five to six women as well. So, it was quite outspoken, and uh, it led, led a bit of a troubled life in that period, and uh, which drove him close to um, Christianity. After his conversion to Christianity, he became a bit of a, a celebrity preacher. Uh, he travelled a lot around the country, and people were dying to actually listen to his story. He has such an interesting interesting story to tell. Uh, just after this, I'll put up a little poster which advertises his, one of his uh, tours.
Yes, I managed to get into the actual mission, as you can see. And uh, I also managed to video film uh, the famous sign. Right, guys, I've just uh, arrived at the Schoolmore Cemetery. We'll have a look around. Well, this is the cemetery. Absolutely beautiful. Like any of the cemeteries, there are areas which are very clean, looked after, and some have just been uh, forgotten. So let's find uh, James Berry's grave. Well, right in front of us is uh, the Garden of Remembrance. I'll come another time to have a look at that. Here we have it. The grave of James Berry. Now I don't really like standing on uh, graves, out of respect, but I don't really have any choice. As you can see this uh, grave is uh, not really looked after and these are like edging stones that seem to be upside down. I'll get a bit closer, let's have a look. There's a lot of foliage here. Turn that camera upside down. I don't know if you can read that properly. Let me just give it a clean and see if it's any better. I've just moved the uh, bushes and cut them aside so we can a bit have a better view of the actual uh, gravestone and from what I can see it says in the loving memory of James Berry born 8th of February 1852 and died 21st of October 1913 There you go, totally neglected. Only a couple of uh, edging stones. And the good thing about this is um, a lot of important and, important and uh, charismatic people who have some history and live their lives normally take the secrets to the graves but James Berry was uh, literate enough to actually write some memoirs and you can actually go on YouTube or Google my experience as an executioner and you will get to see uh, some of his writings and his inner thoughts about his experiences at the scaffold talks about the last moments of the uh, convict who is about to be uh, executed and a bit about himself um, how he felt and talked about um, about the method he refined of actually 
hanging the hanging the accused or the the convict so google that a very interesting reading a part of Bradford's history what I will probably do is come back later on and uh, clean this area and it will be great for people to come and have actually look at this uh, gravestone and try to keep it intact don't know if you can see that Sarah Ann Berry that was his wife I'm sorry if the video is a bit contrasty it's quite sunny out today but uh, finding this grave was a bit of a nightmare I've come here about three or four times and I just could not find it as you know school more cemetery is a, is a massive cemetery so I thought what I'll do is I'll contact, contact the council and uh, had a chat with the uh, <coughs> death and birth registration section and uh, they kindly supplied me with a map or some indication where James Berry may have been uh, buried but there's no guarantee that the grave will be there because the chances are at that age uh, they can be buried away under the folly jaw totally neglected so I'm very happy that I found this well some mark of James Berry where he was buried just take a whiz round this is by the way this is the uh, the other side of Schoolmore Cemetery the Jewish uh, cemetery area in case you wanted to come down and see there you go one more look makes me wonder when was the last time somebody came and actually visited this uh, particular grave of Jim Betty fortunately it's upside down but that's just the way it is As you can see, totally neglected. There's some real history there, Bradford Gem, hidden away. Like I said, if you get a chance, do read his memoirs. Very interesting. There you have it, folks. Rest in peace, James Berry. Peace out.